Pumpkins in March, yes. So let's take this pumpkin that we have left over. If you want to use a can of pumpkin, you can use a can of pumpkin too. I'm gonna to slice it up. Gotta scoop out those seeds, save those for later. Put it on a cookie sheet, roast them in the oven, preheat that oven, of course. Uh, while that's going on, let's get this curry bit going. So I'm gonna chop up a bunch of ginger, I'm gonna chop up a bunch of garlic, some onion. I'm going to take a couple blocks of veggie broth. I just have this in the freezer, just chilling. Uh, if you wanna use a bouillon cube, that's cool. If you want, you can just use water. I like veggie broth because it's got more flavor. Put that all in with a bunch of water. We're gonna need a good amount of water. Uh, and I'm going to add that all into the pot. Those, mm, so good. All right, and then we're gonna add a bunch of spices. Now we're doing like curry, but it's also a little pumpkin-y. So we have like a mix of like pumpkin and curry spice, but it's like a savory pumpkin, not like a sweet pumpkin. You definitely want cumin. We got paprika. If you want a little hot sauce, you could throw some hot sauce in there. Turmeric, a little cinnamon, and then tiny bits of like coriander, nutmeg, and clove. Just a little bit, not much. Generally speaking, go easy on the spice. You can always add a little bit more later. Take a lemon, slice off the ends, and just slice it, scoop out the seeds, and just throw the whole damn thing in. It's gonna be great, don't worry about it. Then let's take some lentils. I'm just gonna take a one pound bag of red lentils. I'm gonna rinse them, cause sometimes they get a little dirty, so it's good to rinse them. Pour those lentils in there. Make sure there's enough water in there uh, to make it all good. Uh, our pumpkin should be done, and when we take that out of the oven, we can scoop out all the flesh, which is great. And then we're gonna put it in the blender with a bunch of water, blend it all up. Let's put that in as well, salt, pepper, the works, and just let it simmer for like 30 minutes or so. Then when you're done uh, and it's all cooked, serve it in like a bowl with a drizzle of olive oil. If you wanna put olive oil into the recipe, that's totally cool too. It'll add just like a nice fatty flavor. But if you want people to have control over how much oil they want in it, drizzle olive oil on the top of it, crack some fresh pepper over it, it'll look great. All right, that is a pumpkin lentil curry uh, that you can enjoy year round. It's not gonna taste like October, don't worry. It won't taste like Starbucks. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you.